has been said that man can create anything which he can imagine. I imagined that would be on 319. I was once told the most common cause of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overtaken by temporary defeat. Every person is probably guilty of that at some time in their lifetime. The one thing I always told myself is I would not let that happen here at Living Green on 319. Uh, I just want to welcome the first greenhouse. Thank you, Joe. All right, here I go. I'm going to try to cut the ribbon. I <laughs> pretend. There you go. All right. There you go, Joe. Two years ago, CEO and founder of Living Green Homes, Jason Shire, began his quest to build the world's greenest home. He titled the project Living Green on 319. And with the house now complete, it's Shire's first of what could be many green homes. Um, seeing the 70 to 80 plus people here in the house was great. I mean, I loved it. Uh, I love the support. Um, and it's not just all about, hey, look what Living Green Homes is doing, but let's show the community that we can do this and let's start doing more of them. This one is very, very special. I think the when it comes to Orange County, I don't know exactly, it's certainly one of, if not the greenest or quote unquote the tightest uh, property here when it gets tested, it's pretty much off the charts. The house was funded partially by sponsors whose donations in total counted for nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Jason worked with Michael Stevens, president of Achieve Marketing Group, who helped him line up the sponsors. Once you, once you have one sponsor on board, it's a little bit easier to say, oh, we have Verizon on board. Oh, great. Well, tell us about it. So it, once the ball started to roll, it kept rolling. Uh, we probably talked to about a dozen different solar companies, and they finally made it come through, and they got it in before our grand opening, which was fantastic. And it is up and running today, and we could probably go look at the meter and see it spin backwards. Our goal as a company is to get 10% of California residents with solar. And that means one out of every 10 houses should have a solar system on it. And if we can achieve those goals, we will have created 180,000 jobs for California. These are jobs that can't be exported, they can't be sent offshore or to another state. These are jobs that have to be done in California, 180,000 jobs. And in addition, we can help California avoid buying over $70 billion in electricity from outside the state. Varengo attributes its success to a leasing program that allows consumers to get solar panels starting at just $995. To get the word out, Varengo uses a call center that places 85,000 calls a day. Of those calls, about 40 turn into legitimate clients. We're the first folks that put together a solar finance program, a lease program. And so the way it works is we put the solar system on your roof, we install it, we warranty our work, we even insure our work, uh, we monitor it with a cell system, and uh, we'll even come out and clean it if it gets dirty and stops functioning efficiently. And we take care of all that, and you just get the electricity that the system is generated. According to a green building study by Gregory Katz of Capital E Consulting, buildings consume 70% of the nation's electricity. However, green homes use solar to cut down that electricity and ultimately use 30% less energy than conventional buildings on average. If you can see it, it's working. When there's sunlight hitting it, it's working. And actually, if you wanted to get an instant perm, you could put your tongue in one and your finger in the other and, and uh, get a little bit of electricity. About a month ago, um, I finally talked to a a fine young gentleman that understood our concept and promised me, I ah, don't worry, the solar will go on no matter if I have to put it on myself or not. Well, they say green homes aren't more expensive, but it depends on what level you are going for. The study by Katz also noted that a green home will cost the builder on average 2% more of the total cost than a regular home. But for home as green as Jason's, that number can rise above 6.5%. This is it for me. This is the highest I've seen. So 
Uh, I've seen uh, multifamily projects with 100 points, and, and for multifamily builders, that's a, that's a great endeavor. Nathan Krantz is a home inspector for Build It Green, a nonprofit inspection service. Krantz is rating just how green Jason Shire's construction really is. Build a Green gives points for green alternatives, like using LED lights instead of less energy efficient standard light bulbs. Um, I've seen commercial projects go for lead platinum. Uh, so there's different different uh, rules and, and ways to achieve that, but for a single family home, this is the greatest I've seen. Well, I mean, there's things I could have done to make it even greener, but there's a lot of things I could have done to not make it as green as it is today. I wanted to make sure if I was going to make a statement in the industry, that I wanted to make the greenest home possible at this day and time. So when I heard that my Greenpoint Raider actually said, hey, you've got one of the greenest homes you know, available, um, it's, great. it's great to hear that. But uh, the next home I build, I want to make sure it's better than this one. There is not an established market for a green home like this, or really any green home that's to this level. And uh, it's just, no one's really taken it this far yet. And it's going to be a challenge to market it and, and actually sell this home for what it's worth. So being three blocks from the beach or the ocean in downtown Huntington Beach, property values at, when we purchased this vacant lot at that time, we're going for about a million dollars. This is probably, well, I would say anywhere from 1.4 to $1.8 million just to start for the investment. And then, um, at that point in time, we were looking at about two and a half million dollars to sell. But now, because the economy hit, we're hopefully this drive right around two million for the price of this house. I, I think it's going to come down to taking homes that are similar to this home in the neighbor, it, similar to this home in this neighborhood, and then at put, pulling the value of uh, all the different green features, the, the insulation, the the different uh, HVAC system, and adding those back on top of of whatever this home would sell for if it was not green. Jason says in order to find a buyer for his home, it's going to take someone that is a visionary in the industry. Green experts like Nina Chow, a professor of architecture at the University of Southern California, are noticing that homeowners' habits are just starting to change. The mentality has always been you, for, let's say, a homeowner, is to buy a home, um, upgrade it, and then, or let's say renovate a little bit, or even just live in it for a few years, and then upgrade to a, a better home. They're starting to realize that doesn't seem to make sense anymore. Maybe we should be building quality buildings from the beginning. It, we're trying to just enlighten people, let them know that there are homes that exist now that these people that are sensitive to interior toxicities can actually comfortably live in um, and get it out to the doctors and, and, uh, and not so much try and shove that it's green down people's throats. You, you can see that you know people are wanting to make the change but it's a lot slower than everybody would have preferred to be. I think in the long run, it's worth it to be on the forefront and to help the industry grow and do things right. There's always gotta be somebody out there to do it. And I'm not the only one. There's a lot of pioneers out there doing it right now, which is great. It's hard to give it up because it is your, you know, it's like your first child. This is my first baby and uh, I'm excited, but Deep down inside, I know it's a project, and I know I can do better. Living Green on 319 was an idea. Then it became a labor of love. Then it became a labor of hate. And then I think it, it came into fruition to be what it is today. I think most people can walk through that understand green and build in science techniques and agree that this was done right.